Hello everyone. This question is considered easy, so let's do it now. Table one shows some values of x and y obtained from an experiment. X and y are variables. Variables x and t are related by the equation y is equal to h k plus one to the power of x. The variable x and y should be y are related, whereby h and k are constant. Right, the question should mention h and k are constant. So now we are asking to construct a table for values of log ten y. Now let's construct a table. Okay, uh, I'm going to draw a table here. So. Okay, let's draw a table. Let's take the ruler and and then draw. Okay. Um, the table should consist of the x and y, right? So let's draw. Okay, we need uh we need actually uh how many column? So just. All right. This is a straight line. Now, I'm going to draw the straight line again. Okay. So now let's see. We are going to find x and log ten y. Here we write log ten y. Right. Log ten y. So let's uh, copy down the. X is one, two point five, and then three point five, and then four point five, followed by six, and then seven, and let's press the calculator. If you press the first one is log ten fifty point one two twenty one point eight seven one two point five nine seven point two four four three point three one one and one point nine zero five. So let's plug into the calculator. So I'm going to plug in and write the answer in two decimal. So this is one point three four. This one is one point one zero. This one is zero point eight six, and then this is zero point five two, and then zero point two eight. Alright. So we have one mark for here. Must be two decimal, right? Okay. Now we're going to we're going to draw the line of best fit. Okay. Uh, make sure you know how to draw. Later, I'll explain to you what is line of best fit. Uh, we have to make sure we we have a straight line. Okay. I'm going to show you the. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we draw the line first. Now, okay. the The basic concept is you must find the gradient and y intercept, right? So let's draw the line. Okay. Now. After you draw the line, this is your log ten y, and then here should be x, isn't it? If you you follow the data given, and obviously make sure this one is zero, okay? Then you plot all the point, then the point should be a straight line, should be a straight line, they will cut the y axis. Let's say this is your Let's say this is a graph. Basic, basically, you will get a graph something like this, right? The the concept is you have a line something like this. It is a must to cut the y-axis and read the c, and then choose the best point. The best point must be exactly on the line. It must be lies on the line, right? So let's say this is the point. Exactly on the line. Maybe you choose three point five 
and 1.10 and maybe another point exactly on the line so 7 and 0 0.28 let let's say we chose these two points you can always choose the point uh, that you use to plot the graph no problem right so it's okay so i'm choosing these two points well, because these two points are exactly on the line okay so hence i can find the gradient so the gradient can be found easily using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so make sure it's follow the formula so if you plug into the calculator 1.10 minus 0 0.28 divided by 3.5 minus 7 so obviously the gradient is negative you will get negative 0 0.2343 right four significant four to eight four significant figure at least all right so leave your answer in four significant figure and read the y intercept here so let's say you read it is 1.92 let's say okay all right so we are going to solve this uh, the question asking uh, from the graph from the graph use a graph must use a graph no substitution find the h and k okay how are you going to find h and k you have to start from the non-linear equation given by the question y go to hk plus 1 to the power x so we are going to write down here okay let's see we are going to write down y equal to okay hk plus 1 to the power of the x this is a non-linear equation given right hk plus 1 to the power of x correct okay uh if you look at the axis here you look at the axis here is log 10 y so you have to take log 10 y for all the terms so there's a multiply so you have to plus so now i'm going to show you how i apply the linear law so it's log 10 y equal to log 10 h plus this x have to bring to in front right like this k plus one and then we have to rearrange until until y equal to mx plus c so the best thing is you must write like this log 10 okay we we try to write nicely log 10 y is equal to log 10 k plus 1 then whole bracket x plus log 10 h so make sure you follow y equal to mx plus c this is a y this whole thing is a m this is a big x this is a c so then we can do comparison we can say that this thing is equal to log 10 k plus 1 k plus 1 right then we can solve it so let's let's solve it now okay i'm going to solve it now so uh log 10 k plus 1 is equal to negative 0 0.2343 so if i take anti log shift log or you can just write like this 2343 3, right so you can just shift logarithm Z negative don't forget 0 0.2343 your answer for the for the k you have to minus out the one isn't it so it's uh 0 0.53 three zero minus one so the answer is 0 0.41 so the k is uh you just now be uh, when you shift you get 0 0.583042 something you have to minus one because the question is asking for k so the answer for k is 0. Point, uh, it should be a negative minus out one 
four, one, six. I got six nine five around. So there's a big difference uh, between the answer. So the answer is negative zero point four one seven zero according to my answer. It's okay because it's a certain range accepted. So how to find the the constant h? Of course, this is your y intercept, right? This is the y intercept log then h. Okay, so it's equivalent to c. So it's uh here one point nine two log ten h is equal to one point nine two. So that means h is just ten to the power of one point nine two. Or you just anti log shift log zero uh one point nine two. So the answer is eighty three point one seven six. Wow, it's a big number. So h is eighty three point one seven six four. So if uh four significant figure is eighty three point one eight. All right. So that's the answer for the constant h. And the answer that we need to solve finally is uh, find the value of y when x is one point seven. So we have to go to our graph. We have to go one point seven. When x is one point seven, so we have to make sure we uh, draw the line one point seven. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's draw the one point seven. Okay, let's say this is one point seven. Uh, I'm going to draw the point one point seven. Let's see. So we have to dot it to the line and then read read to the y axis. But the value, let's say we read the to the y axis, is log ten y. Log ten y. Is equal to the value that we, uh, read. So after that, we have to let's say it's k. So we have to take ten to the power of k, right? Then we get the answer. Okay. So I will explain to you later when I have the graph. So basically, that's how we solve for linear law. That's all my sharing about linear law. Bye bye and have a nice day. When you do linear law, okay, they will give you the marks based on the answer here, all perfect with the two decimal places round off correctly. So one mark. Alright, so then the graph that you draw, make sure you label right and all the point and the intercept, make sure you label 1.92 and all the point if it is uh, down it must be balanced up and down uh, make sure the point uh, follow the line of best fit meaning that number of point that are below and above the line should be balanced and it must be passes through as many points as possible so this is a line best fit and then sure make sure this is zero label this is x axis and then when you read your when x is one point okay when x is 1.7 right according to the question 1.7 here 1.72 so when we read we will read to the line there and read the y so log 10 y is 1.52 so the mean y is shift log shift log 1.52 so answer is 33.1131 so you can write as 33.11 for the part number three this is part three given you the small small x 1.72 find the y and then when you uh, apply the linear law make sure you follow y this whole thing as i say you must put a bracket m 
and this is a big X is coincidentally small X this is a C one mark right must be 4 4 Y equal to M X plus C must be clear then you equate how you equate log 10 Y equal to Y intercept this one is one mark you know you don't write H only you must write how you get the uh, H then only you shift log shift log 1.92 right you will get the answer 83.18 right this is one mark so the working is one mark same thing when you equate this one you you find the gradient only no marks you must write this is your gradient this thing right make sure you know how to how to get one mark okay this one don't just find the gradient all right you must write this one equal to the gradient how you find the gradient you must show you don't write your gradient just write the gradient you must show y2 minus y1 over x2 must minus x1 don't write the formula i'm showing you that you must use a formula then you shift log a minus one that's the answer and finally this is the answer just now i explained it so this question consider easy so i'm sure you can score perfectly 10 marks right okay that's all my sharing on linear law till then bye bye and have a nice day